everyone. Welcome back to Martin's Home and Garden Houseplant of the Week. This week we're talking about Christmas cactus. Um, so these are different from our Thanksgiving and Easter cactus that we did a previous video on. Um, they have a different blooms and a different leaf shape. So the leaves on a Christmas cactus have a little bit more of a spiky look to them, whereas Easter cactus and Thanksgiving cactus are more smooth and rounded. Um, and the blooms on our Easter, Easter cactus is more of a star shape, and these are very unique from that. So the Christmas cactus is native to Brazil, and unlike desert-loving cactus, um, this plant is on the other side of the spectrum, and it is tropical. It's used to the rainforest, so it's gonna want a lot more water than your regular cactus um, to stay happy and healthy. Another thing about this plant is that it is an epiphyte, which means it grows above the ground, up in the trees in its natural habitat. And it grows kind of where the branches meet, where leaves get trapped, where moss grows. Um, and it is a very eye-catching plant, as you can see, these beautiful, colorful blooms. They come in shades of red, orange, pink, white, and yellow. Um, they are super popular around the holidays because they bloom in late fall to early winter. They make a great gift for a loved one or for yourself for Christmas. So if you're looking to purchase one of these as a gift, we are going to teach you how to take care of them today. So the first thing we'll talk about is lighting. These plants want a bright indirect light. They don't want too much direct sun like your regular cactus would. Too much direct sun is gonna cause the leaves to turn a pale yellow color. So if that's happening to yours, you're gonna to wanna to move it back from the window a little bit so it's not getting quite as much light. Um, the next thing we'll talk about is soil. Soil is actually not a huge factor for these plants as they are epiphytes like we talked about. They will kind of adapt to whatever soil you put them in. So it's not too big of a deal what soil you decide to plant them. But if you do want a recommendation, we would recommend using our Espoma organic cactus mix or just a regular indoor houseplant mix will do just fine. Um, next thing we'll talk about is watering, which we spoke about before. These plants want a little bit more than your typical cactus. Um, um, it's a good thing to wait until the top two inches of soil is completely dry out before you water it again. Um, other than that, they're not too picky. A sign that it's needing water is that the leaves will start shriveling and they will get visibly wrinkly. You don't want to wait that late until you got to water it though. You don't want that to happen preferably, but that is a sign that it needs water and it's getting too dry. Um, humidity is another big factor with these. You wouldn't think a cactus would need too much humidity, but since they're from the rainforest, they love humidity. So you can miss these guys regularly, regularly, or you can even use a humidifier or a pebble tray underneath these plants just to help increase that humidity and make them extra happy. Um, the last thing we're gonna talk about today is how to propagate these guys. They are super easy to propagate and you can separate them and give them to your family as gifts or your friends. Um, so we are gonna show y'all how to do that. So first you wanna get just a little pot, any pot will do and you're gonna to wanna to fill it with some soil, um, not any soil in particular like we talked about. And then I would make the soil kind of moist just so the plant sticks in there a little bit better. And then you're gonna take some rooting powder. We have this available here at Martin's. Um, you're gonna open it up. And I like to pour a little bit out in the cap just so you're not having to stick your plant all the way down in the bottle. Take your little cactus, you're gonna want at least one to two segments, but we have this big old chunk that fell off that we are gonna to use to propagate this guy. So you're gonna take the segments where it separates, take the bottom of it, dip it in your rooting powder a little bit, just so it's coated. Oh, I forgot to mention, you're also gonna wait till it dries out completely before you just stick it in the soil. So if you cut it off of your plant, make sure you let it dry out for two to four days um, before you go ahead and plant it in the water in the soil, not water. Um, so once you've gotten to this stage, you've dipped it in your rooting powder, it's all dried out. You're gonna make a little hole in your soil just a couple inches down, and you're just gonna plop it right in there. And then make sure you fill in that hole you made so that it stays sturdy. And 
you got a whole new little Christmas cactus. You wanna make sure you don't do this process when the plant is in bloom. So make sure your plant's all done blooming after winter um, before you do anything like this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, come back and check us out next week. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>